Uzbekistan Country Profile Capital, Tashkent Population, 32,981,716 Total size, 447,400 square kilometers World region or continent, Asia Type of government, republic, authoritarian presidential rule, with little power outside the executive branch Languages spoken, Uzbek 74.3% Russian 14.2%, Tajik 4.4%, other 7.1%. Independence, September 1, 1991, from Soviet Union. Religions, Muslim 88%, mostly Sunnis. Eastern Orthodox 9%, other 3%. Currency, Uzbekistani Som, UZS. The area of Uzbekistan has a long and rich history. Many of its cities were major trade centers on the famous Silk Road. Uzbekistan was occupied by Alexander the Great when he captured Samarkand in 329 BCE. Due to its location in Central Asia, many empires and conquerors passed through the land including Alexander the Great, the Arabs, the Samanid dynasty, and the Mongols led by Genghis Khan. In the 14th century the Timurid dynasty rose to power in Uzbekistan led by Tamerlane, Tamerlane's empire spread throughout much of the region and he had his capital at the city of Samarkand. During the 7th and 8th centuries, Arabs conquered Uzbekistan and converted its population to Islam. During the 13th and 14th centuries, Uzbekistan was conquered by Genghis Khan and was incorporated into the Mongol Empire. In the 1800s the Russians absorbed Uzbekistan into their empire. The area was part of the Russian Empire and then the Soviet Union. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, Uzbekistan became an independent country in 1991. Uzbekistan is a landlocked country in Asia. A landlocked country is surrounded by land and does not have access to the open sea. The historic city and UNESCO World Heritage Site of Samarkand is known as a crossroad and melting pot of the world's cultures, with a history of over 2,500 years going back to 1500 BC. Its most famous site is the Registan Mosque, a central square flanked by ornately tiled, mosaic-clad madrasas, historic Islamic schools. Uzbekistan's Silk Road sites include four of the country's five UNESCO World Heritage Sites, Samarkand, Shaker Syabs, Bukhara, and Ichin Kala. The fifth is the Chan Mountains. In 1966, the capital city of Tashkent was flattened by a 7.5 magnitude earthquake leaving hundreds of thousands of people homeless. Every year, Around 1 million students, doctors and government employees are forced to work in Uzbekistan's cotton fields to pick cotton for the government. Cotton in Uzbekistan is known as white gold. Cotton accounts for around 7% of the country's exports. The Aral Sea, located on the border of Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, and Turkmenistan, was once the world's fourth largest lake. Since the construction of a Soviet irrigation project in the 1960s, the lake has almost disappeared. It has been described as one of the planet's worst environmental disasters. Uzbekistan is home to one of the world's largest open pit gold mine. The Murintal gold mine in the Kazulkum Desert is the world's largest open pit gold mine and it has the second highest level of annual production of 66 tons. The pit is around 3.35 km by 2.5 km and at least 560 meters deep. Uzbekistan has the world's 10th largest mine reserves of gold and is the world's 12th largest gold producer. Gold accounts for around 44% of the country's exports. There is a formal etiquette for pouring tea in Uzbekistan. First, it is custom to rinse out your pila, a small tea bowl, with a drop of hot tea, then return a bowlful to the pot three times before the tea is finally considered fit to drink. The national dish of Uzbekistan is plov, a Central Asian pilaf consisting of rice and fried vegetables generally eaten for lunch. Like, share and subscribe to Sadra's Lifestyle.